For layout purposes, it can be useful to constrain the depth of an image plane to a locator in the scene. So let's see how to wire that up. So let's create a couple of locators here. This one we'll call zero buffer. And I'll make it a child of the camera. And then after the child of the camera, zero its value out. Now eventually we're going to put 180 degrees in here, but we'll do that in a minute. Now I've got another locator. This will be the depth of the image plane. So what we're going to do is that we'll pick a locator in the scene that we want to constrain the image plane depth to. And then we'll do a parent constraint. No offset. So now this value here, the TZ, that's the distance of the locator to the camera. And we want this value of minus 38 to go to the image plane depth. So let's look at the image plane. Now we can manually adjust the distance here. And we could also hand animate it. But we want this value here to be automatic, and we're going to use a connection editor to do that. So the zero buffer again, we're going to put in minus 180. And we put in 180 because what that's going to do is it's going to flip the value of this tz to positive. So now, because image plane depth, just like interocular, is always a positive value, but the distance of the camera to this locator in right hand space would be negative. So now we're going to go to the um, connection editor. So master is going to be the depth, so we load that. And then we'll go to the translate tz. And then the slave is going to be the camera's image plane. We hit select, and then we hit reload here. And then we go to find the depth, wherever that is. And there it's all done. So as soon as it's yellow, that means there's a connection. And we just go back and forth. Notice the image plane is now stationary in world space because it's locked to that locator. So this can be very useful for various types of creative layout work.